you guys, it's Molly. I am going to do the ocean swipe that you guys had voted on. So I did a couple of the larger Dutch pours, so now I'm going to do the ocean wave um, swipe. So I am actually using silicone in this. I'm going to go ahead and get started talk to you. I'm going to try to do it backwards so you guys can see it too. So I hope that this goes okay. So my colors do have silicone in them. Um, one drop of treadmill, one or two drops in each color of treadmill silicone. I like to go in with my dark colors first and then um, go over them with some of the lighter colors that I have because you want your colors to mix together for the swipe. I'll list all my colors below. And I'm thinking I want some of it to go off here. So let's do my cerulean blue. And this part doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna come back in anyway and fix it up. So I think I want a lot of my lighter over here. So you guys wanna check out any of my ocean interests. You can check out Pinterest, my inspiration. And if you want to see my dried results, you can check out my Instagram. I post a lot of my pictures there. And now I'm going to come in. This white doesn't have any silicone in it. I'm just going to come over top. The white that I'm using for my base this time around is um, a mixture of satin house paint and semi-gloss house paint, what I had left over. Um, and it's a little bit, I don't have as much water as I do for my Dutch pours. So, I really love the, the phthalo blue, so I'm going to hit that again. Put a little bit up here in my corners. And I'll finish it off with some Payne's Gray down here. So I just want to make sure my colors are mixing together. And then I'll finish it off with a palette knife. So I've got a little piece of paper here or plastic here that comes um, in some of the canvas packs. I just cut it down to size. So hopefully I won't be in y'all's way too much, but I'm literally just going to swipe across. So you want to make sure when you're swiping that your colors, that it's kind of light, that you don't get it too So that was my first swipe. Then I've got some paper towels over here that I laid down. I'm just gonna wipe those off. Wipe my plastic off on those and then I can reuse it. Oh my gosh. Wow, can you guys see that already? Can you guys see those bubbles that are popping up from it? Wow. Oh gosh, that's really, really pretty. Oh, I'm super excited. Okay, so come back in again. I think I might work with my palette knife on the second part, but I am gonna start right here and just swipe. Those across. I think I'm gonna do the rest of the work with my palette knife. I got the big swipe that I wanted out of the front. Lay this down. I'm gonna try to stay out of y'all's way, but. And you wanna make sure, one, you don't drip anything on it. And then you wanna make sure that you wipe your palette knife off as you come through. Now these colors are much thicker than what I do for my normal pores. Because so, I don't normally use silicone, but to use the silicone and to have the cells hold, you really want to have your paint thicker. Oops, see I dripped right there, but I'm going to blow this out anyway. I don't want it to look so, you know, um, contrived, so I'm going to play around with it a little bit. I like it to go off the edges over here. Here. 
and just let a little bit of it stop because you know as a wave is cresting some of it's kind of flowing over there and blowing off. I'm going to just blow this little Wow, those cells right there are amazing. I'm gonna blow a little bit. I want this wave to just be crashing right off the right off the side of the canvas. I can't wait to show you guys a close up because this is just amazing. I'm gonna come back in here. Ooh, left-handed, let's see how this works. So my Lazy Susan is not big enough to, uh, to do this, so I'm just gonna come right on in here. I have a lot of paint right there, so I'm gonna have to try to get some of that off. All right, just try to scoop it off just like that. back over here and fix up this side a little bit. And I'm going to leave the drips just kind of as they are. So I may want just a little bit more to come through this way and wave up this way a little bit. I didn't want that much negative space. And then I'm gonna drag it this way to this way to, I'm actually gonna use my, drip off the edges. Okay, so I might speed this part up, I don't know, but I'm going to um, go in with a straw and kind of blow some of this out now. back in with my palette knife one more time. So yeah, I live in Florida and I mean the beach is where it's at where you know what people like and I need a little bit more of my actual white right there. just so that the colors can glide over it a little bit better. I have a little bit on my spatula, but that's okay. So I'm gonna drag a little bit of this color up through here. Yeah, you guys, I really like this. 
<laughs> you guys, let me know what you think. I'll take you down and show you. Oh, yeah. Love it. I might play around with it a little bit more, but I just wanted you guys to get an idea. Thanks for sticking around with me. This is one of my longer videos nowadays, 10 minutes. I looked back at some of my older videos and they were uh, like 20 and 30 minutes long. So I was like, oh my God, who listened to me for that long, huh? Okay, so this is what the cells came out looking like. Sorry, I've got my light in there. I like the the wave motion that happens right there. I like that the inside's kind of a little bit messy and I like the little outer portion there. So there you go, you guys. A large wave swipe. You guys let me know if you like it. All right, I'm super happy about this one. Don't forget to check out all my links below. Find me. Um, on Facebook, find me on Instagram, I'm Molly's Artistry 6. Check out all my inspiration on Pinterest. And thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around with me and all my craziness. I really, I really just love you guys. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys next time. Happy painting. Bye.